never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Welcome to Let's Play Fallout 4. This is a game that many of you, myself included, have been looking forward to all year. And a game that has been awaited for just about five years now since Fallout New Vegas. And I am incredibly excited to play this game. Um, to start out here, we have the character creation screen. Uh, I'm going to take a few moments to create my character. Uh, you will see what they will look like once I am done. And we will get on with the show. So. One second. Fifteen minutes later. And here we are. The only thing I gotta do now is the body. And I kinda have a general idea of what I want. With the body. Pretty sure it's like right there. Uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. I spent 15 minutes on this. Um, I could spend hours tweaking, making myself look younger, probably making my, my husband look like a dude that I would actually marry if I was a woman. Um, but I'm going to play as a girl because I do that. I mean, you know, don't like it, go elsewhere. Go and play a girl. And here we are. Bam. We're in the game. Oh, man. Nate. Hun? I'll just be a minute. You kind of look like a really buff Fallout version of Nigel Thornberry if you had a bigger nose. 
You'd be real close. It's a little that's a little creepy. Um so hey, this is this is the game. Um I know this is like the very beginning, but I'm actually fairly impressed with the visuals. Um looking outside. I mean, jeesh, you know? I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, I'm actually not sure how okay I'll be with the uh music. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. I have no idea how good I'm going to be on that, but we'll see. No need to get dressed twice. But I want to. I'm so proud of him. Oh, I am too. What a what a brave young soul he is being able to fold his clothes. Oh man. So this is the third person. Um immediately I'm going to say this. This feels good. Um, my major complaint in every single Bethesda game to date, even Skyrim, has been that the third person camera has never felt good. This feels good. I actually really like the third person camera. So I'm happy with it. And that immediately makes this game like, God, leagues better. Hey, what's in here? A ball? You got a ball? When do we get you a ball? We don't have that kind of money. Your name is Sean? I wouldn't name you Sean. You look more like, um... You look more like a Philip. Baby Philip. Baby Sean... Sean... Shillip. <laughs> Alright. Oh, How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Well, maybe I should pick that up. Can I... No. Mom don't care. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. I can't either. He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. You know what? And either way, that leads to a job. If he's great at smelling, he could become a linguist. Did I say smelling? Well, I guess if he's good at smelling, he could be a cook. But if he's good at spelling, he could be a linguist. If he's good at smashing, he could be a construction worker. Just get this sign next time we're at the park. One's a disappointment and one will, is a low-paying job. Either way, it's bad. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Actually, you know what? Linguists, linguists don't really. Oh I'm man! Sure <gasps> to be. Dude, I want to read that. That's a reference. Oh man! All right, as exciting as this baby room is, you know. Hey. Let Codsworth take care of it. Yeah, let the let the robot servant. Another fine product of General Atomics International. The robot servant handle everything. We don't need to do nothing. The Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Uh. Oh. What was that? Mr. Handy. Is this the box he came in? Really? Oh, hey, dude. Ah, good morning, Mop. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's new just delivered. That's sweet. Dude, I'm drink my coffee. Did I drink it? I don't think I drink it. Codsworth? Enjoy your coffee, Mom. Yeah, thanks. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> this is funny because it's ridiculous it's got a ridiculous oh, type oh man no I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I okay go ahead at first but I'm glad we got Codsworth man you know having a robot being able to friggin like take care of the baby poops I I would love that because that's like one of my most nuka cola Ice cold. Feared things to do. Looks like the milk got delivered. Not not because I couldn't handle it, but because, like, if I have, like, a girl. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Like, if I have a baby girl, whenever I do have a kid, if ever, uh, I, I'm going to drink out of the sink. Sure. Uh, that salesman again. 
I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Salesman. But I mean, like, if I get a baby girl, I'm gonna be afraid because it's like it's a little early to be drinking. I hear that it that it gets up there, in the the other. Good old U.S. Never mind. Good morning, Voltec calling. Hey, uh, good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> <laughs> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, well, I'm here now. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now he I just know looks you're done. a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Oh, boy. Uh. Uh. Sounds great. Sounds great. I'm oh, just gonna... it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Uh, I'm going to be sarcastic about it, just because. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Sign me up for the apocalypse. Oh, man, we get to name ourselves. So those of you that know me know that I have a frequent use. I, I, I have default names that I go to. There's for males. There's Jaden. There's Jake, Riku. There's a couple others, I think. Uh, for females, there's Althea. There's uh, Emma. Well, I haven't used Emma a whole lot, but of course, you know, I'm brunette, blue eyes, it's Sarah. That's that's who this is. Pretty sure Sarah is also one of the names that Cogsworth will recognize. Um, Cogsworth recognizes, I think it's like 200 plus words or something like that, or I don't remember it's the exact number. It's a lot of names, and um, it will actually say your character's name Uh if you type in a name that it recognizes. So now I'm going to, I'm going to be a little weird here. There are not enough points to make everything five, like in past games, because you can level up certain things. I am going to make intelligence six. At least my charisma is going to be eight. Endurance is going to be four. Perception is going to be three. Strength is going to be three. And then agility is going to be three. Uh, I'm not going to be super lucky. Luck, I think, boosts every other stat by 0.5. So it is a fairly decent stat to put your shit into. But I, I, I'll, I'll, I might level it up later. Um, intelligence also isn't as important because skill points aren't a thing anymore, but it does affect the experience points you earn. And there is no level cap in this edition, as far as I remember hearing. So it's actually pretty decent to, to do that. Um, and I mean, unless I'm going to use vats a whole lot, perception isn't great. I'm not going to be using melee weapons and hopefully not carrying a, a whole lot. Um, in fact, you know what? Let me lower that. And I'll increase my perception by one. And then we'll level stuff up. I think that's good. Kind of charismatic, intelligent, um, and then more suited for ranged combat, which is what I want. So. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. 
Oh man, the baby's crying. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call me now. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? All right. Baby's crying. Baby's crying. Mama's got to go help it. Um, f so for those wondering, before I get a little too into this, um, I've played the first, like, 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes um, of the game, not including the optional stuff where I can look around. After this sequence, it's blind. Um, I mostly just did it to test recording stuff, optimize the game, get the right resolution, all that stuff. So, my boy well, is okay, Shill. Any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Oh man, look at you! What are you posing for, huh? Trying to, uh, trying to, trying to get me to do some. Not in front of the baby. Hmm. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, I could be sarcastic. I'd be a sarcastic biatch. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir? <laughs> Mom? You come and see Codsworth? What's wrong? Oh my god. Jeez, they were adventurous. I, I guess we were... Fin this is weird. Followed I'm playing by, a woman. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Wait, we seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate say? stations. Oh no. We do, we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Oh, man, we gotta go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, really if you are registered, I, I evacuate know. to Vault Ooh. 11 immediately. Ooh. Bad day. Bad day. Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Yeah, it's okay, Shillop. Who can? Just help me pack it up. Who cares about the bags? Woo! Oh man, so uh, if you press L trigger or left trigger, you can sprint so long as you have AP, which is why I wanted at least three AP because yeah. Ah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. He doesn't know what to do. They're gonna stay out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. We're not okay, in the vault program. Thank you. Good oh my luck, God, sir. we're gonna die! Thank God help us. Yeah, you two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside we're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Oh no. They're gonna die, aren't they? We are all going step to die. Step on the platform in the center, ma'am. We need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Get in there, little baby shill up. All right, that's it. Oh jeez. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh no. my god! No, no! Shut this down now! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. 
We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we'd all be... don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Just this way, please. Hey, hon. We made it. Oh. Well, we made it. What? what? What's going on? Mail. Please, keep moving. This way. Up the stairs and through the door. We've made it through to the vault. Female. Right over there. Male and infant. Oh, jeez. Good. Uh... Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Over there. Take a suit. This is Abel. Hey. Oh. Oh my god. Do you wanna... Do you wanna... Thank you. Who just are you? Step over to the table. Oh, okay. Yeah, One vault suit. Fine. Now just head down the hall. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Thanks. What now? Uh, Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This See, is all very sudden. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Yep. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be Don't down I, here? Oh, we'll be uh, going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical but items we have to get through first. Every step of the way. It's a good fit, don't you think? The bulb Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. S excuse me. Just step into the It'll chamber. be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Honey? Could you help me? Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. I apologize for not, See? like, Mommy's not going far. commentating All a whole set. lot. It's just, step there's a lot of information and talking going on. And, uh, I'm just... Like, the visuals, man. I... Like, people were saying this game was gonna look bad, and I don't understand where they're coming from. But... I guess we gotta get into the decontamination lab. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two. Oh. Oh, we're being we're being cryogenically frozen. Well, the vaults do have a history of doing experiments, both scientific and social. I imagine that this is a, a scientific one. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Uh. We're being we're being defrosted. Like chicken wings being prepared for dinner. This is the one. Here. What? Wait, that's my baby. Both of them. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I got it. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you charge! 
Oh, we're going there. Oh. Yeah, we're going there. Go and touch my baby. Don't touch my baby. My baby. <laughs> 